This could be it still. I mean, Blige just brought it back with a very fun game, but reality is he's still one win away or one loss away from being completely done with the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we find ourselves back in this. Let me just set up the score here, guys. It's like three to two. Bam. So this is the Money Peak Show My Series. We've had a lot of fun so far. We've had actually a decent amount of bounties claimed already, which I find shocking because I, I was really... I was afraid players wouldn't go for them. Like, we put out the incentive there, there's a decent amount of money attached because we want to inspire more fun gameplay. And we've certainly gotten that so far, the last two games specifically. <laughs> but we'll see how this goes. One went away from victory, spotting in the lower right corner of the map from Axiom Esports. It's going to be the teal Terran player. Well, light blue Terran player, Ryung. The top left, I was the red Zerg player, it is Acer's Bly. And a quick shout out reminder, all the subscribers of Base Trade TV here on Twitch will be getting all the replays from today, so you guys can look forward to going over and rewatching Nidus Worms and Nukes and what have you. I did ask between lobbies, Bly, you know what was up with that Nidus in your natural man? And it's just straight up a misclick, he said. <laughs> I totally forgot you cannot cancel Nidus Worms if you guys are unaware of that, so you can't get a refund, you can't stop them from building once they're already going down. Yeah. That's uh that's where it gets a little unfair, but <laughs> Doesn't happen that often. Well, let's be honest, it's not the biggest deal in the world by any means, but yeah. Well, hey, if everyone was doing Nidus Worms every time, then people would complain about the no cancel. Have you, by the way, have you? I think you've seen it with me when we were uh, casting Beast or whatever, the, the Starbo Nidus Worm? Yes. Yes, it was huge. If you guys haven't seen it, like, I, I know some people really are, like, I've gotten tweets saying, like, you need to stop talking about Starbo and Starcraft. But I love Starbo, guys, so deal with it. But in Starbo, Nidus Worms are, like, massive. And I'm not talking, like, just slightly bigger a little bit. They are huge in comparison to regular Nidus Worms. They don't get any extra benefit from it, but it's just really fun to see. But it's one of those things where, for Blizzard, like, I, these skins are in the game. The different types of Nidus Worms, the different variations of Queens, like... I want unlockable skins so badly, Blizzard. Please, please. They have to implement it. I mean, come on. Just get with the times, Blizzard. It's all about the microtransactions. Well, not even micro. I mean, because they even gave some away for free, right? For the, like, you know, well, reach level 30 with Terra. They get, have like, to the... give it for free because there's no ma microtransaction built in the StarCraft. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's there. It's just, like, reluctance, it feels like sometimes. I, that's what we need to is, do for the David Kim Q&A. Forget balance and everything else. Just feel like, when are we getting cooler skins? Well, because it would be pointless because he's not in charge a lot. I know, but still, it's... Bl we, we blame David Kim for everything because Dustin Browder's not around anymore, let's be honest. Oh, okay. And we don't know who the... What does this game title be? He's Whoa. the fall guy. He's the fall guy is what he is. No, no. What's like the actual, the, the guy who actually determines like we should put this and this into the game client. Oh, I have no clue. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever that guy's name is, we should blame him. A Find it out. Pitchfork. The schmoo. <laughs> Alright, well Reaper's not going to get a lot done this game, unfortunately. Nope. It's chased out. Might be a drone down here. There is one, but that's doesn't, easy enough. Yeah, it doesn't quite finish it off. Uh, the the thing about Aklon Waste, you know, we're kind of getting caught up in a lot of silly things, guys. But Aklon Waste presents a problem with that with the fourth base, as it always does on most maps. But what's peculiar about this one is you actually have a weirdly secure third, no matter which one you take. I mean, this one is protected by destructible rocks, which is cool. Uh, but towards the north, like any whether Hellions are running in, whether it's uh, Zerglings running by, like they get trapped in that third base location. And ooh, nice snipe on that SUV. First blood. Yeah, he even got the two Marines to make sure that doesn't happen, but they popped out just a little too late. Yeah. We're also seeing a Roach Warren again from Bly. Of course, he's had mixed results so far with this early Roach Warren. Um, well, actually, the one that just got shot down hard. And that was because Ryong, honestly, you know, I mean, he scouted it first of all, and he also had Banshees. Uh, this time he's going to go for Banshees again. So mixing it up uh, at the exact same time that Bly, Bly is. Bly's over there, noping on out of the base. Nope, yeah, nope, nope, nope. nope. Uh, I think it should get out alive. Yeah, I'm there's. I think one of my teammates actually did like a uh, like a study or whatever you want to call it, experiment on like depending on which way you spawn, the Overlord actually cannot live. It's either it's either here or in the other spawn location where you can actually kill it with a stalker, I think, but not on the other side you, you spawn. Actually, the guy who knew best, Masan, I, I swear to you, God, he knew every single map, every location, and where the Overlord had to be in order to die or not die. Like, he was so good with it. I always mm -hmm. blast him across the map with this huge aggressive force. Again, we got the roaches on the way, we got Zerglings following this up. There's no third hatchery, and there's no Baneling Nest down just yet. Oh, now is speak of the devil, Baneling Nest on the way. Uh, but I feel it's almost a little too late. He doesn't have a lot he has to bust through. 
This is the, for the intention of being just as early as possible to get that ball rolling so they don't have time to, you know, get the wall up. Which actually, Young, this is a little more old school. Of course, the map's not that old school, bunker but putting a bunker not hill. at the front is a lot older um, than the opposite, so obviously. Uh, Ling's actually going to keep the SUVs from getting surface area on this. Oh, I don't like that he disengaged from that, but had to because of the Hellion hits. Uh, with the Banshee coming out, though, Bly pretty much shut down with this attack. Bailing Nest, he isn't over-dedicated to this yet. I mean, the worker count's pretty even. The bunker! Oh, that bunker, though! Okay, it does go down. Uh, but, yeah, yeah this is still going to be some more damage done, but these roaches will get cleaned up by the Banshee. I mean, this is going to be the hero of the day. Yeah, it's going to be able to kill maybe all of the SCVs and mules down here. All of Young's probably going to buy some more time by chasing them around. So it's only eight SCVs so far, nine SCVs now. Uh, okay, so total of 10. 10, but you know, he really disrupts the course of things. He caused Ryung to panic, probably, but Ryung kept the cool head. Yeah, it, um, I don't know who that was worthwhile more for. I guess Ooh. Unit's loss is actually really completely even, uh, so I, hard to say. Well, actually, because Bly's got nothing on the field right now, these Hellings could do a ton of damage. Oh, that's a really good point. He's getting a few more roaches, okay, no, but two roaches actually aren't enough. Well, three roaches. Whatever. With the, with the queens, so if you perform, like what we see is a get a wall off at the front of the, <laughs> the top of the ramp, that actually ends up working. <laughs> yeah, and you know, Ryang doesn't really want to try. Maybe if it was like a, a pure ling attack, it's, maybe. But if he knew that there was nothing behind this, he would have dived in for sure. But you know, right. again, that's the unknowing. You don't want to go to the top of the ramp and lose well, all of your hellings for nothing. With this Banshee, the queens have to go back, which means that there's only going to be those few roaches. So maybe he could now, although his hellings are already all the way back home. Yeah, the Banshee's going to just keep her ass around a little bit. Ryung has not invested in Cloak. He's not invested in further Banshees again, so kind of limited on what it can do. But nine kills so far, not too bad by any means. Oh, this Reaper, you're going to get... Oh, I thought he was going to maybe try and go for a kill. Goes just straight for the scout, even though the Banshee could have done that too. Sees the Spire, which he saw that early lair, so he's, you know, no yeah, third. But the Spire is put in an odd position intentionally, so that, like, there wouldn't be scouting of it. Oh, of course. And plus, with the Roach Warren in a lair, he could be thinking Nidus again, so good thing he confirmed. You know, it's funny, because that worked out so effectively for Bly. Like, I'm I'm not surprised he didn't do it again, because it does all it takes is getting Banshees out like this to shut it down, but that was such a catch-you-off-guard Ryung moment. <laughs> It was, yeah. But now the uh, the Spire is going to be, you know, prepared for. And again, he doesn't really have to worry. It's not like he has... It's such a fast Spire that he only has the barracks just building or something like that. So he's not too worried about getting turrets down immediately. Just needs to, you know, not drop, obviously. Yeah, no, I was just going to go update Stim Bunny so they know this is... Yeah, sorry for the short delay. Here, Bly and some net problems. But we're almost done. Of course, Snoop and Bunny will be coming up next, guys, in another best of seven to follow this up, and they'll be afforded the same bounty opportunity. So, uh, I, Bunny's a really strong player. I don't know if he'll play as crazy as Ryung does, but Snoot's definitely one of the guys I can see. Like, if he gets ahead, going for the bounties. It looks like Bly actually canceled that daily nest. He's building it right now, so that's uh. While Ryung's attack can't be used for drops because Mio's are already out, it could just you know be used to attack straight up and be pretty powerful without speed. Well, the cruise spread's actually pretty decent, just one line this, of it. But this is kind of the same problem that happened earlier on today, where like having the Banshees out alive for that mid-game, they were snapping off a ton of Banelings. Like, it wasn't focus fire by any means, but it's a lot of extra damage from the air that gets, quite frankly, uncontested because you either dive the Mutalist for the Banshee and you lose a couple to the Marines, or you let the Banshee just kill Banelings. It's not a pleasant choice to have to make, but uh, this yeah. is actually really nice to apply. This is kind of what I was expecting to see more of him from today, like getting into the Mineralize, going for harass, using Mutalist. This is his forte. If you guys recall, he, did, he what was it like when we had Bly versus Puck, it was just like five games of Mutalist Corruptor nonstop back to back. Yeah. Missile Turrets is in a very odd position. Probably a smarter position, but just not working out here. Yeah, he was anticipating Mutalist coming from the left, not coming from the north like this. And oh, oh my god, are these really going to get away with no health? Three, seriously? Wow, there's no. There's, oh, okay, he's one. one Marine. <laughs> <laughs> that good guy, Marine. <clears throat> but no, it goes into stills. Like, I mean. Look how many workers he's killed. And again, it's a small investment. This isn't like a huge amount of mule. As long as he doesn't lose all of these, this ends up really being worthwhile. He killed five more SCVs, and this is just the start, too, because you it's no longer a case of ever giving up on mutas and going into like Root Infestor or you know, you stay on mutas for pretty much sometimes the entirety of the game. I'm I'm uh, liking this cruise for a lot more too. Like this this really this feels like Acer Bly when I'm watching this game. Like the first couple games today we we're kinda confused, like a little bit shaky, but this really feels like he's in his element right now. Yeah, maybe his net's finally not being a butt. 
Thank you for keeping it PG-13, Zombie Girl. Yeah, you, you're welcome. You big doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this attack's gonna hit uh, probably as 1-1 finishes for a Bly, so lucky for him. It will clean up the crew spread, however. This is a lot of Marines, though. Even with these Banelings coming in, Rayoni just has to do a little bit of split again. He should take minimal losses here, but... Again, I love this move out of Bly, just sending a couple Banelings forward, gets the Widowmine, baits the hit, and actually takes out quite a few units with it, so... A very small investment. It's it's so funny to see like three Banelings oftentimes do more damage than a whole slew of them. Yeah. Oh, creep spreads, uh, or creep goes away very, very slowly, so he's gonna have the opportunity to go ahead and plant some more creep timbers off to that right side and really just, you know, not really care. Because of course it's still effective as long as it's down there, creep timber or not. It's like 40 seconds or something. It takes a, it's a while. It's pretty big. Actually, I believe, what was nerfed? The radius of the actual creep tumor, how much creep it makes, was nerfed, but not how fast it goes away. Can't I remember. still think you should, like, there's some times where I really should, I really wish you could just nuke creep and it would, like, instantly go away. Like, <laughs> I would totally cool. use a nuke on that. Like, when you're trying to secure a fourth base sometimes, Actually, and you're, like, it's locked It's not that in. bad of an idea. I can't see it really breaking the game, but... Yeah, it's it's just uh, for uh, for mecking players too. Like, I mean, that's the worst when you're like playing goodie style, <laughs> super turtled up. They can't take so. the fourth because there's creep freaking everywhere. <laughs> uh, Bly Rebel with our mutilus now. I again, he's probably gonna go back for the mineral lines if he's afforded Ooh. the opportunity. Almost catches that medevac, but won't see it sadly. <laughs> that medevac was like, nope. Uh, yeah. So there's actually gonna be a wall off for Ryong off to the side. This is something that not a lot of Terrans do, but I know Flash has really been, uh, for ever since he came into StarCraft, he's been trying to, like, use supply depots to their fullest. <laughs> and this is one of the maps where he would constantly make that supply depot wall off to the right side. Blast also going for, um, you know, a, a well-timed invitation could I'd say. Uh, he's actually got no plus two carapace on the way. This is gonna be so dumb, and this is such a riffing joke, but, uh, they should call them Ignite, Ignite Nostra Burners. <laughs> <laughs> they run away like that. Yes, it was very funny. Sorry. I Leave laughed me alone. inside. Leave me That's alone. Okay. Alright, All right, we got the job going here towards the fourth base of Bly. Bly, of course, is anticipating a uh, command center down here, but uh, we'll actually end up getting quite a few units here in the main. And again, for Terran players, like this is kind of the danger zone where like if if there's meatless, if there's links, if there's anything on top of your production, this is where it gets really scary. But we only actually should be able to clean this up. I mean the Marines are coming out two at a time. What am I supposed to if they get a hit off? Uh, well, this is still kind of a problem, but the drop's going on. It, uh, the medevac actually did survive. The units of Ryong are actually coming back. Oh, they're going to try and cut off the mutas. Oh, check this out. Uh, Bly's going to oh, try to dodge around this. Yeah. What do I want to do, bro? But they're not going to get a lot done. Uh, the drop of the main was cleaned up, too. So, I mean, I don't think the sport crawler even went down, no. Still, this medevac incredibly low. We'll go down to these mutas as long as they look at the mutas. The medevac's funny, but... <laughs> uh, you know, th this is this is a sense of working though for Ryong. I mean, this is him drawing everything away from that main, getting it fly off of the production and being able to just sort of breathe again, but still pushing forward while this is going on. Cleaning up creep. I mean, this is something where Bly had creep extending past the halfway point in the map, but now driven back to basically defensive standards. It's actually kind of pitiful looking creep spread because there's so few creep tumors, but it is actually about halfway across the map before it was taken down. I mean, you really, you really do only need them through the middle part of the map, anyways, because you can take watchtowers on the side later with lings. I mean, he has them right now. Well, he actually has no overlord spread. That's something I guess we haven't been talking about. But Ooh. usually, you see a lot of overlords all across the map. But he actually doesn't see a drop coming until it is there. And uh, have this watchtower reveal this base. These lings are actually struggling to kill one marine. This should not be the case. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Two lings just like in total dummy mode. But uh, lots of links to get on top of this army. Woodmines are going to burrow, but there's no overseer here, so big hits on these banelings. Oh, oh. Oh. They all explode on, like, one ling. That was so, yeah. Uh, and I yeah, this is, Oh, this... dropping the main again. Oh, oh. but hang on. Bro, oh. banelings. Bro, oh. banelings. Oh. This is the scan. This is going to be huge. Monster kill. Big oh my kills. God. Big kills for Bly there with that. I don't know if he needed six, but still ends up being worth it in the end. As this army has been completely neutered down. Yeah, seems like some... Uh, Maybe the spawning pool went down, it seems. Yeah, the spawning pool went down. Not a big problem again. It just how so happens around the time the the cavern is done, so he can yeah. remax with Ultralis. Well, this really hurt Bly's late game last time, too, because let's not forget, he didn't have Adrenal Glands like the end of the game, so all of his Zerglings, when he had them, <laughs> were very ineffective. Yeah. And uh, we also saw, like, not just that, but Ultralis, you know, they're actually kind of the one way you can get, you can throw oh, away a you lead. Saw these? Oh. oh, another big hit! Ryong is just wow. taking bailing shells left and right, and this actually allows Bly to connect with the army, something he otherwise would not have been afforded the opportunity to do. There's too many Marines on the ground. 
Uh, still some. Oh, I actually really like those widowing positions right there. Those are great yeah. for intercepting the mutalisks. Not but on purpose, but they ended up being really, really great. Unfortunately, yeah. they both did not go off, so the mutas live to see another day, and the what am I to die? But Ryong, he was close to being maxed out, and because of those two baneling hits, now, now he's not, which would actually be a good thing if he knew ultras were on the way, because he could fill that with marauders, but he doesn't. He's still producing nothing but marines. And this might actually work out a lot better, because last time he already had marauders to anticipate the ultralists on Metropolis. This time, Bly may be afforded the opportunity to actually get in here and do some real damage. The problem I, yeah. is, though, despite the fact that he took this hatchery, he's not been able to do anything with it. Like, this has been a constant struggle on this part of the map. Same with the fourth, actually. He's really been only mining off of three base consistently. Another Baneling hit went down, by the way. Didn't kill nearly as many, but still a little bit. Ryung really wants to take down this base. But, you know, he Ooh, needs to start worrying sex. about the tech, not the bases. I the... Want, that could be a misclick. It's a soft and a misclick. In, uh, I think it's, like, the most misclicked thing, but... He has burrow and speed, though. I just feel that's an odd misclick, but... Oh, he sees Ultralis now, and he is, uh, he's in trouble. Yeah, Ryung trying oh! to retreat to this, but those Widow Mines! Those Widow Mines, though! <laughs> he took on all of the Mutalus cheeses! Oh my god, 31 now, dead. That's really unfortunate for Bly, because, like, the thing is for Ultralis, like, yes, you can compliment them with Zerglings and Banlings, but the reality is you need either Infestors or Mutalus to be that hardcore, like, third wheel, I guess, to make this car complete. That's a terrible analogy. I don't know cars. <laughs> but still, the point is, like, it, Zerglings are not going to cut it. Pure Ultras are not going to cut it, even against mostly Marines. The third wheel. Uh, I like this double drop. The focus thinking... has been on the left side, so now okay. he's going to drop on the right. To defend myself, I was thinking of the car from Mr. Bean. The, that, like, van that has three wheels, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. I don't know why that was the first thing in my mind, instead of, like, a truck or sedan or anything else. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you were going to be like the third wheel, like, you know, the awkward third wheel. Well, the awkward third <laughs> wheel would be the Ultralisks, ironically Yeah, enough. they like... would, they would be. But okay. Uh, but Ryung's actually looking really good after that. You know, if the Mutas didn't die, even, actually, even though the Mutas did die, I, I kind of, I'm kind of like, yeah, really pull back? I don't know. I think he could have taken advantage of the fact that it was mostly Marine Army, but he did pull back, and I think Corruptors. that was because the Mutas did die. Uh, it was really lucky for Ryung. Corruptors intentionally again coming out of Bly. But no greater spire yet, right? I don't think so. Yeah, mm, that's weird. I mean, this I guess they're more armored version of the guaranteed to Unless, pick off the medevacs. Wait, what's the hotkey for ventral sacks? Maybe it's G. Uh, I Is don't it? know. I, I don't play Zerg enough to remember the hotkeys. For yeah, and who really gets ventral sacks? Like, uh... I mean, I thought it was well, going to be for like ultralist drops or something really nerdy and cool. I mean, it's not part of the bounty system, but maybe it just goes for cool points style, if you will. But uh, no, there's the greater oh, spire. Oh, of course. Yeah, there you go. Your spire is down. It's. No, but it's like <laughs> even even if the marines didn't see this, like the corruptors, you don't make ten corruptors against Terran. Like. Right. Yeah. That's not something you're gonna lay at home and help defend against drops. I guess you could try, but it's more gold level tactics than anything else. Ryong though did see it. He knows it's coming. He puts down two more starports and another armory, even though that's gonna be useless because he already has one of the plus threes done. Oh well. Actually, yeah. That's. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's <laughs> habit though, honestly, isn't it? Because the greater spire, throw down another armory, so you have good upgrades, and you don't see greater spires that often, so it's it's habit. You know, it's worth talking to. We didn't talk about it earlier, but the, the whole thing about getting the armor upgrades first, guys, it benefits the woodmines and the metabags. That's why we don't see weapons being upgraded because you're not looking for Vikings. It's not oh! like Colossus, but big fungal goes off. Ooh. And those ultras what? just eat everything, Kaiser blades and all. Uh, needs another fungal locks down the metabags, but sadly, with no anti-air, can't finish these off. Uh, where are yeah. these corruptors at? Yeah, the corruptors, hey, hey now. <laughs> you know, this, this is their time to shine. <laughs> I guess. Oh, well, they're off. Yeah, yeah the, the north. Well, that was a kind of a screw up right there from Ryong. I thought he was looking at his army, but I guess not, because that was a pretty, you know, pretty good fungal. And the fungals are a lot easier to dodge now yeah. since uh, Free Lord Infestor was in its heyday. Big drop coming up towards the left side. But it's not going to be caught by these corruptors. Uh, the thing too, like while this is going on, we gotta keep in mind, Ryung's on more bases than Bly. Oh, he's using it. He's using it. Oh, he's, he's gonna drop Banelings. Ah. Oh, just sorry, I was looking at the wrong part of the map. Yeah, you were okay. like looking at it and I thought you saw it. Alright, so yeah, so that actually got a lot of mules. That's Not actually bad. big because those were fresh mules too. Like that was like 11 or 12 mules. We had just been looking at that base. But Look how many command centers Ryung has though. Look at this, his third. <laughs> I know, well, you said drops. I was looking at, like all over for Young's drops, and you said left side of the map. So I'm like over here, and I'm like, what's going on? I don't know what you're talking about. But <laughs> my bad, guys. I'm sorry. I missed the. I got the tail end of the drops, but not the uh, the full thing. Cool tactics out of I really like that. Sort of actually did that recently. Um, in uh, in Grover Starcraft just yesterday. Hmm. Or not just yesterday. Uh, Monday, I think it was. But either way, uh, bailing drops can be very effective. But this drop, 
does snipe off the base for Bly, which he so desperately needs. Another drop going off here towards the fourth base. This should get cleaned up as he retreats, but he's going to take some losses. It's taking a long time to get here. No, the map actually forcing fights with the Ultralists. Ryung is uh, starting to tear Bly apart. Everything Bly has is this really slow-moving army, and it's not that scary of one either. This is Broodlords. I'm just thinking about how odd it is to see this type of TVZ. We saw it a lot in the past, but honestly, you know, in the past, I guess, Heart of the Swarm, it's really been about head-on engagements. You know, you see drops every once in a while, but this is very much drop heavy, heavy intentionally, well, lie going for slow moving units, so you drop more. Exactly, uh, and a big part of this with all those mutals getting killed in that blaze of glory from the Widow Mines, like, there's been nothing to pick off the medevacs. Something that, like, maybe not a huge investment, but I would like to see Bly make, like, say, five or six mutals just to be anti medevac production or protection. Yeah. A Widow Mine's not a good thing to have against Broodlords, of course, because the Broodlords make them do friendly fire, unless you get under them, which happens once in a blue moon. But it, it can happen. I want to speak out to my defender there in chat. I'm sorry, I missed the name because we're still in the game here. I can't scroll, tab out to scroll. But someone said cars do have three wheels, and that is true. That's the they've got the extra one on top of that. <laughs> sorry, uh, stupidity gets me. <laughs> Anyways, the Brutal Army is approaching Ryung's base, and this is actually getting kind of scary. There are Vikings out, but there's not a ton of them. Uh, the, but more there's no corruptors. Exactly. I was gonna say oh, normally you've got like 40 corruptors behind this, but. This what is just an age-old mistake for a Broodlord player. Yeah, this is like Bly's go- Like, he still uses Broodlords, by the way, guys, in ZBZs from time to time. Like, this isn't something that he's just doing because he can. Look at, this, like, look at this cheeky medevac. It's like, what up? <laughs> oh, it's really useful to get a good scouting, actually, if they don't want to spend a fungal on it. Oh, that medevac there, okay. Uh, Planet yeah. Fortress is going to go down, but this base is not that big of a deal for Young. He's got everything in the north while this is happening. Infested Terrans are trying to be the anti-air he needs, but you know what? The Ultralists have done a great job at just getting on through here. The Broodlords, while going down, they've cleared out so much of the ground army already, but I don't think it's going to be enough. The Sim City is going to push this back more than the actual Oh, yeah. Well. Sim City is Ultralist's worst nightmare. Now, there's been no drops, so actually now a drop's going off, and we'll kill that one base that Bly needs. Oh, I don't maybe nine save it. His, like, both players' income is just in the trash can right now, guys. Like, that's the reality of the thing. We took... Ryung's just getting back up as he drops all these fresh mules, but they were both hovering on like 400 for a while. Bly's well, in a lot more trouble than Ryung is, though. Yeah, Ryung still has, you know, three, four extra command centers, including the ones that is main and natural. God, He's shoot. mining off a of two base now. These, oh, these Vikings. Something you can always do after you kill all the Broodlords is go after the Overlords, because always oh. going to pack them up somewhere. Well, there's a lot of spore cars that have been put down for static defense, though, so maybe not going to be the free. Well, where are the Overlords? Oh, there they are. They're over the hatch. Yeah, through the natural and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I mean, like, things for young, we take a look at that income, like, jumps up from 480 to, like, 2.4k, and that's the advantage of mules, guys. <laughs> yeah, a lot of having two bases. Yeah, both ways do have incredibly low, uh, worker counts, but at this point you want low worker counts for that bigger army supply. Uh, but as yeah. far as Bly's concerned, like, I'm really worried. Like, at this point, it just kind of looks like a slower bleed-out. I mean, the Infestors are a great complement to the Ultralisks, but the problem is he's not been able to max out. He won't be able to. He can't even get 200-200 supply because of what you were talking about before. The Vikings are going to start picking off all the Overlords. Actually, lands oh, he the lands. Vikings instead. He's going to go for the Greater Spire. They have good upgrades, too. Hey, now. Yeah, they actually hit pretty hard, and they're going to take some hits from Lings. So, Greater Spire goes down, which means, on top of that, no more Spires, so no Mutalisks. These drops are going to become more and more problematic. That is so dangerous with the investors there. Uh, so the thing is that even though we're talking about Bly, you know, running out of steam or bleeding out because he can't get any money, and that's certainly very important, his army is actually still potentially it, yeah, a move. Breaker. Yeah, a move versus a move, Bly can win, but Ryung should never let that happen. He should constantly be dropping and, like, harassing around the sides of the map. Like, so this, dangerous. <laughs> these are so low. Oh my god, these ultras are so low. Yeah, and he, they can't get past because they broke on their rocks. Oh, poor but, Ultralisk. But again, look at Drops just segmenting off Bly. He's got nothing that can respond to this effectively with three locations being attacked by about three or two medevacs at a time. It's impossible for him to clean it up because the Ultralisk Oh, and his ancestors and all get the targets, all of them. Oh, to survive, two. but that's it. I think he killed down like three or four right there. The infestation, but I believe died, if I'm not mistaken. Natural base goes down too. He rebuilt it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, nice fungal. Actually, one more fungal could catch two medevacs here. So this will be a, a nice thing for Bly to finally go his way, but uh, he's got no income right now, realistically, guys. He's trying to build another base, but the only hatcheries he has is no mineral patches to mine with. Oh, I'm sorry. He's got 75 in the natural, I guess. <laughs> his third still has mineral patches, but, but yeah, Ryung's mining off of two base, so could be uh, mining off of three if you really wanted to. 
Well, it's cool though. Both these guys have earned some bounties today in games they won. So what's nice is everyone walks away with a higher than base uh, surprise pool. Snoot versus Bunny will be coming up after this, guys. We'll probably take about a five minute break to swap servers, get some more water in our cups, and uh, we'll cast that one after. Another best of seven to follow this up. But this has been a great series, and these guys have certainly given us some entertaining games so far. But Bly is looking in a lot of trouble. If he turns this around and wins, this is going to be like the craziest comeback of all time because he's not going to get maxed out again anytime soon. Like, he's he's not going to be 200 to 200 for the rest of this game, I think. Not if Ryan keeps doing it right. Yeah. And by having these planetary fortunes at the... Uh... Why is there a CV in this? What is... <laughs> he intentionally dropped that off, too. He's going to... What's he going to fill? <laughs> a command center and then tell him to neural parasite it? Oh, that's cheating, though. That happens. <laughs> I don't think you can. There's not a space there, anyways. It's not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, Why don't leave it alive? What? Oh, well, he doesn't have passage. Or he doesn't have neural parasite though, so like he can't even. What? what? I don't know. I don't know. Like maybe, <laughs> maybe this is. But the thing is, like, even if you neural parasite, you have to win the game, right? So like. Uh, what? what? Is... You gonna mine? Ah. I think it's scouting, advanced scouting, maybe? Hell if I know. Okay, well, cheeky, whatever that was supposed to be aside, Ryung's gonna lose his uh, his base here if he's not careful. Three links slowly chipping away at it. I say that kind of sarcastically, though, because at this point, Ryung's got ravens. He's got a massive army. I'm surprised he's not maxed out, quite frankly, but he can be in an instance. I can't believe that plant is on fire. I do know lands three, three links. It's Pretty scary. Powerful. It's scary. This medevac with four health, just gonna chillin'. Marauders picking away at this base yeah. again. Yeah. I, I don't really know what to say at this point. This is pretty much over. Is what, like, Ryung is giving Bly a lot of time to recover, which is kind of scary to consider, but as long as Ryung keeps this base from going down, <laughs> he's just taking every base on the map right now. <laughs> he's, he's just taking every base right now because he can. Um, yeah, I guess Ryung was a little too afraid to push out, but now that he has Ravens and he's almost maxed out, he doesn't want to give him that chance. Oh, that's a lot of investors. Hey. It is, but Seeker Missiles are still going to be a big threat. Oh, he could Seeker Missile one of his own units now. Get more bounty. Oh, he could. I don't know if he's thinking about that, though. Oh, he's, oh, he's doing the Viking. Oh, he's doing the Viking. But it's going to kill oh, five plus it? units. It didn't kill anything. Oh, he killed investors. Did it? I. Yeah, he killed investors. Oh, he's going oh, to doing it again. Uh, Seeker Missile is just straight up going on these units. And Fungal Growth's gonna allow him to lock into this fight, but even then, there's just too much raw firepower here for the Ultralisks. Good game, finally called. Ryong will take it, guys. 4 to 2 in the end. Congratulations to him. And we will uh, swap servers now to go meet up with Bunny and Snoot and get, uh, get that show much underway. So we're gonna play some commercials while we get servers swapped.